Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Come on in. Let us know what city, what state, what country you are checking in from. Let us know what city, what state, what country you are checking in from. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. All right. Come on, y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on. California's in the building, as you should be. Uh oh, Compton. <laughs> That's right. Hub City's in the building, as you should be. Who else? Who else? Belize. Good to see my family from Belize. New Jersey is in here. Chicago is in here. North Carolina, Atlanta. Come on, y'all. Florida is in the building. Keep coming in. Virginia is in the building. Come on, come on. South Carolina. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. I'm going to put a poll up here as we get started. I'm going to put a poll up here that I would love everyone to answer. Good to see my family from Ohio, North Carolina, New York. I see y'all. Come on in. Come on in. Let's see. All right. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. LA, I see you. Free thinkers are in the building. Free thinkers in the building. So I'm going to put this poll up first is the first thing I'll put up while I go into the intro video. All right. I want you to all answer this question here. Okay. Okay. And here we go. Very simple poll that I need all of you to answer. And there it is. Okay, you want to see a poll pop up? If you don't mind, go ahead and answer that for me. Burlington, Iowa, good to see you. Fairfield, Connecticut, good to see you as well. Come on in, y'all. We have more people coming in. We have more people coming in. So I want you to answer this question that just popped up. Question is very simple. How is your credit? Simple answers. Great, okay, or bad, right? Very simple. I'm going to put a video up here that I want everyone to watch. As we get into this, this will be very simple, y'all. Very simple. We're not going to be too long, but it's going to be very simple. And let me make sure, for those of you who say you can't see the question, make sure. There it is. All right. You'll see it pop up there. So while you're answering that, I'm going to play this video. And we're going to get some education about credit real simple. And then we're going to go into the Q&A because I'm really more so interested in all of you posing your individual questions because everyone has a different circumstance going on. So we're going to go right into this. All right. See it. Some of you said no. Most of you haven't seen it. Some of you have, wow, you know, most of you have not seen that video. Yeah, you should watch the full thing. I'll make sure to put it in the chat there. So make sure you click that and go study that. They did a very good job of breaking it down into very simple terms, simple history of how it happened, going into credit, how they use that, going to the Federal Reserve, how they print, how they loan money, how they charge interest, all that stuff. They did a very good job. So please make sure to watch that full video. The rest of it goes down into the history. I made sure to put the link in the chat here and there you go so there's a link to the full video make sure you study that and send it around to a lot of people it's just very very well done now i'm going to go into a few basics dealing with just a few terms then we'll credit see so y'all cool so far everybody's good you can hear me you can see me clearly everything's good right i'm going to bring in our specialist here the person who you know, the main event, our brother, good. Everyone can hear me, everyone can see me, good, perfect. All right, so I'm going to bring in someone here. One second, y'all, I'm going to bring my brother in. And I'm going to go into some of these basic terms. I was one of the worst people when it comes to credit. And why am I saying that? I was very ignorant of what it is, what it does. Uh, I had 
no clue, really. Didn't work on my credit. It just wasn't my thing. All right. I had no idea. I didn't think it was too important. I wasn't really focusing on it at all. Am I the only one who was like that? Y'all let me know. Am I the only one who was like that? <laughs> all right. Just, just being real honest with you. I, I was not well informed about credit. I was not informed about how to use it, what it was, what it meant. None of that at all. All right. So good. I see. <laughs> who was this here? Someone said, I'm still lost. I, look, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm still learning as well. So I'm going to go into a few terms here, and then I'm going to bring in my brother who has been involved in this arena upwards of nearly a decade and has been helping a lot of people in this area. Before he comes on, however, I'm going to go into a few terms and just go into a few of the definitions. Are y'all cool with that? Few things, real simple. It's not going to be long, not going to be heavy. All right, so here we go. I'm going to share my screen here so that we can just go into a few basics. All right, and here we go. Can everyone see this? Can everyone see this? Y'all let me know if you can see my screen. Perfect. Okay, so what you see here. What is the credit history of a credit record? Your credit report is a summary of your credit history. Your credit report is created when you borrow money or apply for credit for the first time. Lenders send information about your accounts to the credit bureaus, also known as credit reporting agencies. What are the credit reporting agencies? Can anyone tell me what are the three top credit reporting agencies? Anyone know? Just go ahead and put in the chat. What are the three credit reporting agencies? I saw someone said TransUnion. Yes, that is one. Experian is two. Equifax is three. There you go. All right. Very simple. Again, I didn't know none of this. None of it. Like at all. Here we go. These are the top three, the basic three, the overall three. Experian, Equifax, TransUnion. We got it so far. Very simple. I wish I would have known about all of this when I was 12 years old, 13 years old. I really did, right? I really wish I would have known about these things. So as we're learning, you have these three that are reported to. Let's go back into some of the basic terms here really quick so that we know exactly what we're dealing with here. In 1956, engineer Bill Fair teamed up with mathematician Earl Isaac to create Fair, Isaac, and Company to create a standardized objective credit scoring system. In theory, a standardized rubric would eliminate the prejudice inherent in the credit evaluation and lending practices used for many years. Why is this important? Can anyone tell me what acronym this comes out to? Fair, Isaac, and Company. What acronym does this stand for? Fair, Isaac, and Company. Who has the bingo, FICO? So when you hear people say, what is your FICO score? I'm telling y'all, this is going to be real basic, real simple. It, it is not hard. <laughs> but I promise you, I wish somebody would have told me this years ago. So when someone asks about your FICO score, like me, I think you would want to know what that even means. What does FICO stand for? All right, what do these terms stand for? So this here is what FICO is. It was created in 1956, engineer Bill Fair and Earl Isaac, all right? So that's what FICO stands for. During the 1950s, banks started using computerized credit scoring to redefine credit worthiness as abstract statistical risk, as an abstract statistical risk. The Equal Credit Opportunity Act banned denying credit on gender or marital status in 1974, because remember, it was women who primarily couldn't handle, you know, have anything to do with that, just like most things. Uh, they changed that in roughly 1974, along with race, nationality, religion, age, or receipt of public assistance in 1976. So the first thing was, of course, Black folk, we couldn't virtually get anything. And then you had women. And then, of course, it started moving from there on. So these are just some basics, y'all. Next thing, your credit history is a narrative of how you've handled your credit accounts in the past. 
It is based on information on your credit report, such as how many accounts you have, how much of your available credit you are using, and any delinquencies and collections you've experienced, late payments, no payments, all these kinds of basic things. Yes? Y'all with me so far? I hope you're with me right now because when my brother comes in, he really going to give it to you. So <laughs> I'm just giving you the basics right now. Okay, perfect. The Fair Isaac Corporation, which now goes by FICO, invented the first consumer credit score in 1989. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau says that most lenders still use FICO scores, which deciding when deciding whether to offer you a loan or a credit card and in setting the rate and terms. These are very basic things that I want to make sure we all get. The origins of credit reporting. Now, this is dealing with the system of credit reporting, but of course, it goes even back further. Transactions began to be noted in the 1800s as people first started to report them. Prior to today's credit cards, forms of credit included charge coins. Have any of you heard of charge coins? We know about money orders, and money orders are still very popular today. Money orders are still one of the one of the real popular ways people handle, you know, different financial transactions. But have any of you heard of charge coins? It's a very old term dealing with credit reporting. No, no. Mm. So far, I'm hearing no. I'm seeing no, 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 none of you have heard of charge court, man. All right. Seems that we are all ignorant to these basics. <laughs> okay, well, now you know. Make sure you look up the history of charge coins. It's always good to know the history of things you're getting involved in, not just food or music or whatnot, but everything you're getting involved in, you want to know the history of it so that way you have a better idea of how it works. All right, let's go to the next point here. All right, now, early forms of credit. For example, seeds could be sold to farmers on terms or agreements that permitted payment after the harvest. Some of the earliest written examples of a credit system include the Code of Hammurabi. Did any of you know that? Let me make sure this thing is recording. Hold on. I believe it is. I believe it is. Are we recording? It looks like we are, but let me make sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, has it? Did everyone hear about this before? The Code of Hammurabi. Let me know if you have ever heard of that. I'm. I learned. I'm still. It's blowing my mind. Never heard of it. See, y'all never heard of charge coins, and you've never heard of the Code of Hammurabi. All right. Good. I'm glad we have some homework. The Code of Hammurabi, named after the ruler of Babylon from 1792 to 1750 BC in what is now Iraq. All right, let's go to the next point here. Almost done. Credit reports and credit scores, as we know them today, are a part of a long history of merchants, buyers and sellers, and lenders collecting information and using it to evaluate whether a potential borrower would be able to pay their loans back in full and on time. How many of us pay our bills on time? I have gotten so much better at it. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back. What about you? Somebody says so-so, somebody said I have. How many of you pay all your bills on time or early? I, you do, Teresa does, Sean said 50-50, Reyes said me. Daniel, I'm getting good. Okay, all right, that's good. We're getting better. Good, 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 good. I think after this class, you'll put more attention on paying them on time early. That I'm pretty sure. And here we go. Now, when it comes to, I want to look at this one. FICO credit score ranges. Real basic, and then I'm going to bring my brother in. Some people don't know what a good credit score really is. Like, what does that, what does it look like? So here's a decent range, just so we can get an overall idea. If your credit score is 579 and below, it is poor. I'm going to just tell you, it's horrible. That's that's just, it's just terrible. I'm going to say, I'm going to use these words to encourage you <laughs> to want to do better. All right? 579, and I don't want y'all to tell me what your credit score is. I want y'all, you can, but you don't have to. 579 and below is poor. 580 to 669 is fair now. 
And by the way, they're lowering certain qualifications or lowering, you know, what scores can be used to qualify for certain things because of how many people's scores are so low. So they're making it to where, okay, fine. If your score is here between 580 and 669, you will qualify for certain things when it used to be over here, right? So I'm just kind of giving you all an understanding of that. If it's 670 to 739, that would be considered good or right in the middle. And again, it depends on what you're trying to get, what you're trying to buy, what kind of loan you're trying to get, all that stuff. My brother's going to go into it. I'm just laying the base foundation here. Next to that, 740 to 799 is considered very good. Now, that's right here. If you're in this range, you 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 sitting on something smooth right now. Don't tell me. Or don't tell everybody. Don't be showing off. Some of y'all in here are like, yeah, yeah, we in here. Don't, don't worry about it. All right? Next point. Let's see here. Uh oh, let me read some comments really quick before I go to the next thing here. One second. Okay. Yeah, I have one default due to scammers, but right now I'm 100% good. Yes, I'm with you on that. Be careful, y'all, when it comes to this whole credit thing, there's a lot of stuff going on. Now, next one 800 and above is exceptional. If you are in the 800 club of credit or above, you are. Phenomenal right now. You are phenomenal. I'm just going to say that. You are phenomenal right now if you are in eight, you're 800 and above. Really, really, if you're 780 and above, you, you're just phenomenal. But if you're 800 and above, you, yeah, can't nobody tell you nothing. Still be humble, but can't nobody tell you nothing. All right, now, so I'm going to end that part there and I'm going to bring in our brother. Now, this is Brother Aurel Muhammad. He has been, I'm going to bring his camera on here. Our brother has been involved in this arena for a number of years, has a very well standing, I would say, uh, legitimate reputation of success. Um, here we go. And, you know, with this company, my credit has been improved tremendously. I'm very thankful. I'm just very thankful. So I want to introduce all of you to my brother, good brother. Brother Aurel Muhammad, y'all give him a round of applause, put some flames in the chat, put some black fists in the chat. If we got some white folks in here, put some black fists in the chat. <laughs> it is all good. Peace, my brother. How are you? Peace, my brother. I'm very well. Look, brother, you know, the information that you offer the people, I mean, you are truly an educator, brother. Um, I have to say that you're truly an educator. Peace, family. I'm very happy, very humble to be on this platform. I look forward to talking to you all, discussing credit um, and also discussing solutions, because that's obviously what we're here for. We're here to get you from point A to point Z um, as best as well as as easy as, as possible.